Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an interesting makeup compact. It's an art deco design type little flapper-esque bag. What do you think? Should we explore it more? So not only is this a makeup powder compact, but take a look at this has a mirror, has the powder puff, the powder underneath, and then we have some rouge, which is the blush. So let's take a look at it. It's very delicate, so I do not want to break it. Ooh, if we can get this open. Okay, there we are. Look at this. I love how multi-compact our design from like back in the day because it's like super creative and multifunctional but very discreet. So here we have the oh the I forgot what these are called the sift or the rouge and as you can tell it's really used from whoever owned this before. So I have not ever used this. This is definitely around maybe the 1920s or 1930s could be 1940s i'm still trying to find the date sometimes the buyer who i'm the buyer but basically the seller who sells it doesn't date their stuff so i have to do my own research if any of you guys know this compact around what time it is let me know in the comments so take a look at this color it's very pigmented what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sanitize it first and then I'm gonna swipe it and then show you the powder. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells like powdery slash floral. Kind of like something you would think of your grandma wearing, but to me it's nostalgic because it just dates back to the time that it was created. So it was probably more popular and normal, but now if you smell this, you're like, what is this, a rose garden? Like it's for, out of date times um but yeah look at this it looks so cool even from here like i could still see my reflection in this little mirror and then let's put it back real quick i want to be very careful i do want to clean it up but look at that this color of blue is beautiful i don't know what to call it but you can see in the edges right here the design it's so sleek but very pretty I wish I could attach these chains back but I don't I don't see any hooks so I don't want to damage it any further but what do y'all think
what I'm thinking we should do next is actually to either remove the makeup and put my own or I start doing that with the lipsticks that I have back there. I have a bunch of old lipsticks, antique, vintage makeup that I actually want to use because the container is so cute but like I'm not sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea because I want to preserve its vintage and antique youth so let me know what you think. 